Welcome back to Flying Dutchman Cards. So if you've been following the channel for any length of time, you know that I enjoy my super collections. So it started off with Andres Thomas, and I became the number one super collector for him. Uh, currently I'm working on Steve Searcy, um, but I just couldn't help myself and I've started another super collection. So uh, without further ado, uh, Roger Repos is going to be the next subject of my super collecting. Um, and so let's go through the criteria of how I chose Mr. Repos. So uh, there's three uh, categories. So the first one's interesting. So he came up in 1965 and for the New York American League team and replaced an injured Roger Maris. Um, he set a record, a major league record uh, in the late 60s for um, going 347 games without grinding into a double play, which is quite impressive. Um, he also set another record with, this one's not as as uh, illustrious, um, but in 1971, he batted 199, but he had an OPS plus of 108. So he was the first player to bat sub 200, but have a OPS plus above 100. Um, but he also, in the sunset of his career, um, he played five seasons in Japan, which is very cool. Hit 122 home runs, and some even say that the movie uh, Mr. Baseball, starring Tom Selleck, was based on Mr. Repose. So, pretty cool there. Uh, so, second uh, category is attainable. And so, um, Mr. Repose has 54 cards on Trading Card Database. And the number one position is 12 cards. Um, a lot of his cards are actually Japanese cards. And so uh, so he doesn't have many um, kind of major issue ones. He has, this is his 1967 tops. Um, we also have his 1969 tops, which is pretty cool. Um, and so then the last uh, category is uh, personal and so um, so this one is kind of why I jumped on this one um, this one does have a, a, a super personal collect connection um, if I flip this over you can see something here hometown of Bellingham Washington so Roger repose is one of three major leaguers to be born in Bellingham so which is pretty cool that that's my hometown where I live now and uh, so he graduated from Bellingham High School and Western Washington uh, State College, as it was known back then. Um, so pretty cool. Uh, wanted to, to collect, uh, become the super collector of, you know, the hometown hero. And uh, yeah, so decided to uh, start with Mr. Repos. So um, I also have an awesome book that I got a few years back called Bay to Bell, Bays to Bells. Um, so this is uh, the story of baseball in Whatcom County. That's where, where Bellingham's located. I'll flip to a section here where it talks about Roger Repose and his career. It talks about him um, graduating from Bellingham and Western, um, how he came up with the New York American League team, got traded to the A's, then to the Angels, and then on to Japan. And then that quick reference to some think the movie Mr. Baseball was inspired by his career. So pretty cool. Um, so the other interesting part here is Roger retired after the 1977 season and resides in California. So um, that will, will come into play here in a minute. So um, right now I have 10 cards of Mr. Repo. So I have the 1967 tops, which I showed you earlier. And then this is the 1969 tops. There we go, also Bellingham. And then we have the 1970 Opeachy. So got our um, Francais there on the back. And then 1971 tops, rocking the uh, no batting gloves. I'm sure there probably wasn't even batting gloves back in the day. And then these are kind of interesting. These are like, these are like photo stamps and so um, got two different ones here. One's unlicensed and then one is licensed. And so you can see here, this one has like, uh, you know, apply glue or paste here only, I guess they're at the top. Um, oh yeah, this must've been in like one of those, those like old school 
photo albums and then um, this one's just kind of a cutout thing there so pretty cool there so um, so that is six um, so right now I have ten cards which puts me in fifth place but I've only shown you six well where do you think the other four are well um, Mr. Repos happens to sign TTM so I sent him some cards and uh, let's see what he sent back to us so here we go we got our index card back so we have him here on the 1972 tops rocking the awesome sideburns uh, my brother doug at don't talk robots um he posted a video of us um going on a baseball uh stadium tour and he was rocking the awesome chops back then so that's a very cool looking one and then we have the 1969 so the, before we had the 1969 tops this is the 1969 opichi again with bellingham washington in there so the opichi is a red back and this is kind of more of an orange back on the tops so that one is awesome there and then um, number nine is the 1970 tops. Very cool one there. And this is actually one that, I, that I've had for a while and I wanted to send it out to him and I had totally forgotten, you know, I was like, oh yeah, he signs TTM. And then I looked up, I was like, oh, he's from Bellingham. I need to get on that. So pretty cool one there. And then the 1968 tops. So very awesome to get those four signed back from Mr. Repos. I don't think this one. Oh yeah, there we go. From Bellingham, Washington. Um, and then the last thing is I asked him a few questions. And so he um, answered these for us. And so what was your favorite place to grab a burger and shake in Bellingham? And so he put down bunks. Um, my mom grew up here in Bellingham. And so I'm pretty sure you know what that was. And then what was your favorite memory? What was one of your favorite memories from playing in Japan? And he said the food. So very cool. I uh, wanted to, uh, <laughs> so two food related questions there. So that's pretty awesome. So yeah, um, super excited to get uh, Mr. Repose's autograph. Um, I'm going to try to uh, pick up, you know, the rest of his cards and then, um, uh, yeah, probably send him another round um, and just see if I could get all of his cards signed because that would be pretty legit. So, um, so got a, a start with four of the 10 cards of his signed and um yeah so there we go uh, another super collection underway um post in the comments um which card was your favorite from today um i think i'm gonna go with well either one of these two um i really like the chops on this one but but this is a, a classic design as well so pretty awesome so um yeah thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time